Hi everybody. Um, today I want to talk to you about what's going on in Riverton, um, Wyoming and why this happened. Um, <clears throat> there's been ongoing battles since the 1970s. Um, the federal government has taken the lead enforcement and the clean air and water cases around the country. But there's this problem in Wyoming because they have uranium tellings and fracking and no one's really wanting to do anything about it. So, um, in the 1970s, the federal government has taken the lead in enforcement of the clean air and water cases around the country. However, if a state can prove that they can do a better job than the EPA, which I'll tell you the reason they were kind of thrown under the bus and, and Congress was not held accountable for this, they can get jurisdiction. But this also holds true for tribes. The federal government can recognize the Indian tribes there as essentially having the same powers as state government. It's actually called treatment as state status or TAS. And what has happened is, is that the Indian reservations have been doing a better job of monitoring uranium tellings and fracking than the EPA or even the state services. When it comes to the Wind River Reservation, they've done an awesome job. So to get the EPA to do what they did, there was, there's been a lot of lawsuits that have um, ensued on this. So the Department of Interior and uh, the EPA, where is that this thing? EPA overrides Congress. That was on the Daily Paw. Well, they had to because they were they were getting their ass sued because <clears throat> the the TAS status of nations ha was doing a better job of of saying we have to have this cleaned up. It's in our water. It's in our air. And this included uranium tellings and fracking. Now um, they have went to Congress. Congress has done not a damn thing. So what has happened is they were going to bring about their own environmental agency, which I think should be done. As far as <clears throat> when they had to, okay, and this has to do with the River, Riverton Uranium Mill tailings remedy, which Congress itself, I believe it was Congress, and I, I'm, it, this happened during the 50s and 60s, and Congress, and it, well, here you go, there are reservations um, for example, in Utah, there are largely wastelands where all the toxic dumping was done all over the country and fracking could create the kind of circumstances in, in Indian country. Um, and the uranium there, they, they're saying, uh, Congress said, oh, it'll take a hundred years. Huh? There, you, nobody will be alive there in a hundred years. So when the tribes decided they were going to do this, because this is in their aquifers and their residents, and that also means in Riverton, this is how the EPA ruled in favor of the reservations because, by God, let's not have someone who's not corrupt running and telling the truth. Um, now, as far as Riverton, the Indians are going to kick anybody out of Riverton, and whoever says that is just horseshit. They've actually just been trying to tell the Wind River Indian Reservation and Riverton both knows that their water's polluted, their aquifers are polluted. And at one time they were, it seemed to, to me, what I've been reading, they were all on the same page until this EPA overrides Congress. Well, it really they didn't override Congress. Um, they had to do something. They were going to lose their funding. Congress probably pushed them to do that. I'm going to leave that article. So let's just get that straight, and let's quit bad-mouthing Indians. Indians have never, there's a reservation in Washington State called the Toilet Indian Reservation. A lot of um, other ethnicities, white, yellow, green, purple, whatever, you know, other races live on that, and they don't want to move. The Indians aren't making them move. Um, problem is they do have to follow the Department of Interior's rules. The Indians don't even like that, so... You have to understand, they're, they, they welcome these people there. It's not like they're going to say, get off our land. It's not true. Nobody wants the Department of Interior involved in their shit. Indians don't. They don't do nothing. They don't do nothing but suck resources and money. Um, I'm going to leave this article. <clears throat> um, probably a couple of other ones. I'll even read that one that was very misinfo, disinfo on the Daily Paul. Because they really didn't go back and look at what was going on. 
But today, this is a very big victory for everyone, even though Fukushima is not mentioned. And, and I, I'm going to tell you probably why Fukushima is not in, uh, mentioned. But um, there's a river called the Nisqually River, and that's where a lot of the Nisqually uh, Indians fish. And Washington uses one of the lowest FCRs in the nation to regulate pollution in our waters, said Billy Frank Jr. He's a chairman for the Northwest Indian Fisheries Commission. He is Nisqually. Um, I call him a corporate engine, and you guys should know what that means. Uh, but the pollution of the salmon is so bad, as of 110, or January 10th, 2014, they have now put signs, fish contaminated, do not eat. They're recommended you only eat two small fillets a week if you have to eat it because you have to understand over here on the, in the Washington state, that is what they eat. Um, these are not the buffalo hunting Indians. These are salmon fish eating Indians. Um, so um, there are so many toxins, it's alarming, they say. However, they're really not saying Fukushima but for this man to even step out and say something, I, I actually, Kenny used to fish on this river. He's always talked bad about this guy. Um, he knows a lot of them, the squally, but he, 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 he really didn't have anything good to say about this Frank guy. And now he's actually applauding um, Frank because um, the, there's a res eight miles down the road from me, and they know about the Fukushima. They, they're not eating their salmon. I'll just tell you that. They know that it's more than arsenic, lead, um, whatever they want to say it. They believe it's Fukushima. And I'm sure he's just saying this so they can post the signs. He's not saying the obvious. But it sounds like that, that the nations around here are going to start doing their own investigations, which is going to knock the EPA right out of the water again. Nobody here is going to want land back, I don't think. Um, Maybe they will. If you saw the size of the nation down the road from me, you'd say they probably should get some land back. Um, and there's a lot of land that wouldn't displace any peoples that they could have. Um, they're on the Salish Seas, which are the Puget Sound. Um, all I'd like to say is stop blaming the Indians. Because if the Indians are actually, are the Native Americans and First Nations... And even the ones, I'm just going to say North American Indians, even the, the Yaques and, and the ones in Mexico are your first line of defense before you even hear about some of this stuff. And that's why I do a lot of videos. They're already on board fighting it. <clears throat> and to see, um, I saw like three videos saying the damn Indians need to get over their self. One, I got fleed last night, I call it. I had so many bad things in my inbox, I almost just got off of YouTube together. The fleas had had just multiplied, and my personal emails were full of hate. And Indians should have been dead, and this isn't your land. And, and Europeans were here before the Indians, but I can tell you now that we've been here at least 8,000 years, so. And, and it, over 100 million of us were exterminated and are being exterminated as we go along if you look at reservations that's where they dump the uranium look at the four corners area of the united states it, it where and then look the funny thing is there is the town folks have got together with the nations there and they're up in arms but you're not going to hear about it on mainstream news all i'm saying is stop blaming indians it's if you're a truther and you want the real truth, you don't like you should hate the Western old world order philosophy of digging up resources. We don't care who we kill while we do it. Like Fukushima, I see people complain about the poor Fukushima peoples having to go into those areas. Yet, when an Indian says, Look, you're being poisoned in your drinking water. And in your aquifers and your streams, your fish are dying. Um, the uranium tailings are just as horrendous as Fukushima. When the winds blow, that stuff blows in the air. Fracking is killing our water. Uh, water is connected. <clears throat> Stop blaming the Indians when they bring this to attention. The only reason the MP EPA gave in is because the Indians were starting their own program of monitoring. 
And it was a serious program, so that's why the EPA did what they did. I'll leave links below. Um, I'm not angry. I just wish people would do more research instead of just following one article on the Daily Paw. The Daily Paw. You know, Ron Paul's involved in Project 60. So, go figure. Um, but stop following without doing your information. Um, and if I'm guilty of anything, this is what I kept writing people last night, I'm guilty of still being alive in the 21st century as a Native American. And I'm not very westernized. I do use a computer, but I would rather... I live, we live primarily off the land. There are some things we have to buy, but I'd rather barter. Um, I don't like this westernized culture. I don't, and you shouldn't either. No one's going to lose their homes because of this. Uh, maybe they'll help si stand side by side with the Indians and tell the Department of In Interior to leave the people alone and let them have the same rights as everybody else out there has. Because the Indians don't have the same rights. They're still prisoner of war status. Um, legally, they, or, all right, when you're under a, if you're a federally recognized tribe, you cannot have marijuana, weed, cannabis, hemp, um, anything on your property. Guns are illegal. Um, you, the, the list goes on and on. You, you, there's a separate set of laws for them than there is you. <clears throat> Why don't you say restore the Constitution to its, uh, I got foggy, hello. Why not, I, I don't know what's going on, but I think that maybe we should restore the Constitution to where everybody's equal. There's reservations, these people preserve their culture. If you ever went to sit and talk to some Indian elders, they know how to clean the land, clean themselves. But they're not even allowed to do that now. They just get government commodities. Grow a garden, watch them put spray. They will crop dust an Indian reservation with Roundup to kill it. Um, they do everything they can to destroy the original peoples. And some of you don't think we are original, but 8,000 years kind of gives you a better status than 400 years. Um, anyway, I do love you all, and, and I was taught to respect everyone and everyone's point of view. But when that point of view says, get over it, there is a time to speak. You're the fool, not me. You should go meet some Native Americans. I know a lot of them are alcoholics and drug addicts, but so are a lot of whites and African Americans and Indo-Chinese and or Indo-Asians, Asians. Um, all those people, all of them have those problems. But you look at the poorest peoples in the world or in North America, they are all indigenous. And I just say, stop blaming them when they tried to do something great. They were bypassing the EPA. That's the only reason the EPA did it. There were lawsuits. They were going to start their own environmental movement and document everything they found. Could you imagine if the truth came out on a lot of this stuff? I mean, the real truth of them showing where the uranium tailings are running into rivers and all the stuff they have tested with their own money, which they don't have much, of how, how much uranium from the uranium tailings is in the aquifers in Wyoming. Could you imagine the uproar of the people knowing how bad they're being poisoned? The EPA couldn't let that happen. <clears throat> they didn't bypass Congress. Congress said, do it. Peace, love, truth, and respect. Come on, peoples. We're all in this together. And you're either for this westernized patriarchal military system that enslaved us, or you're not. The Indians are not involved with that. So you're either there to tell the truth or you're really a part of the problem. And the only people I really know that lie are corporate engines, but if you ever talk to a real Indian, they'll tell you the truth. 